street art is all around Sheffield, from heavily populated areas such as the city centre, to alleyways and on the side of buildings on the outskirts. But there's been a dark side of the scene which has reared its ugly head in the past few weeks. As you can see, this mural dedicated to Harry Brearley, a pioneer in steelworks, has been vandalised. But unfortunately, this is nothing new for the Sheffield street art scene. Back in 2016, a portrait of David Attenborough was defaced, along with another portrait of Patrick Moore, both suffering irreversible damage and having to be painted over. Both the artworks that have been targeted were done by prominent street artists, Fornographic and Rocket 01 respectively, and begs the question, who would deface these artworks? That question led me to Hopeworks, commonly known as a nightclub. The warehouse serves as a studio for street artists, whose work is scattered all over the building. It could be many reasons. It could be um, a feud between artists. It could be, it could be some, somebody who's drunk and just messing around. It could be someone who's got a vendetta. You know, it could be, could be a bit of a, a graffiti street art war between different artists. Who knows? I mean, in that particular case, I'm not sure exactly what's gone down, but you know, I think it's a shame that instead of people going out there and doing their own thing, you know, people are painting over other people's work. I think there should be more space to, for everyone. Despite the recent slew of vandalism, Mick is still positive that the scene can thrive. I think that the street art scene, scene is quite young uh, and I'd like to see more spaces, like I keep saying. And I think if there's more spaces, the scene will, will get better and street art in particular. So people pay in, you know, more like images and, and actual paintings. There'll be more of that. Whatever the reason for the vandals, this incident has saddened the community, with the identity of the culprits still being a mystery. This has been Daniel Dawson for Shoe TV News.